it's time for music. What? Music. Third grade, week five. Um, so let's get to it. Let's stand up, get up out of our seats, and stretch. <clears throat> Hands over your head. <clears throat> cool. Try this. Put your hand above your elbow and just give a, your arm a stretch. You're pulling in. Excellent. All right. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Bend the waist. Lifting your hands up. Now, let your hands dangle down like this. Just let your head and hands pull your body down. You're not really forcing it. Now roll your spine up. Ah, excellent. Okay, shoulder roll. Forward four times. Backwards four times. Just fingertips, gentle, gentle pull. Other way. Um, try this. So just let your head rest on your shoulders. And then just roll it towards one shoulder, roll it to the other. Sometimes that gets it. Um, do you remember last week we did uh, the tree pose, but I added that new thing, the Superman thing. So let's do that. Um, ooh, I kind of like how one leg is shaded and one sun. Okay, so plant this leg, turn this knee out, bring up the foot, press the leg into the foot, the foot into the leg, put your hands together. Ah, I lost it, which happens a lot. Okay, I'm going to try again. Knee out, foot up, hands together. Now raise your hands in the air. Okay, this is not a, a sh all right, your hands are in the air. So now take your knee, point it forward, send your foot back, and your hands forward. So you have this nice long line from your arm down to your toes. Superman! Whew. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, other side, plant this foot, turn this knee out, pull it up. Okay, that feels better, I'm pressing in. Hands to your heart, lift your heart to your hands, and raise up those branches, spread them out. Now, my knee goes forward, foot goes back, hands go forward, Superman. <sighs> Good job. Okay, let us get straight to Rapper's Delight. Okay, so um, we're gonna see how we're doing on memorizing that first chunk that we've been learning on of Rapper's Delight. So what we'll do is I will share my screen, put the words up there, but you and I will go through it. Um, and then I'm gonna take the words away and we're gonna go through it. Well, you're going to go through it. Well, and then we'll finish up doing the recording. Cool? Cool. Here it is. Da, 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 da. Okay. Now. You ready? Don't forget to breathe. So I'll say one, two, three. On three. Let me say one, two. Breathe. I said it. It'll be like that. Okay, here we go. Whew. One, two, breathe. I said a hip, hop, the hippie, the hippie to the hip, hip, hop, and you don't stop the rockin' to the bang, bang, boogie. Say up, jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie, the beat. Mm. Boom. Nice. Okay, so now I stop presenting. 
so you can't see the words. And let's just see which, you know, if you know it yet. Um, if you don't, this is it's not a big deal. This is just a way for you to figure out which lines you need to pay attention to. All right, here we go. One, two, three. How'd you do? <laughs> Either way, it's fine. All right, let's um, do it with a recording. And this time I will let the recording play to the end of the section that we're going to learn, you know, throughout the year. Just to, you know, the more you hear it, the better. I'll bump it back a little bit. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, ah, one, two, three before they get to the bass part. Okay, sorry. Here we go. One, two, three. Good job. Um, yeah, it's all good. Once we get the rhythm and, you know, the words in our heads, then we can start focusing on diction, saying the words super clearly. Okay, um, active listening. Uh, last week we watched one voice um, with the Cincinnati Youth Choir. Now you're going to see that same choir or a diversion of that same choir doing their warm up, their like official choir warm up. And here's what I need from you I need you to do it with them. So the conductor of the choir will do something and then you will do it back. It's as if she is your teacher for a few minutes instead of me. Okay, you ready? So just go for it. Yeah. Okie dokie. No, that is not the video I wanted. This is the video I wanted. Okay, you ready? So maybe some of that seemed a little weird. That's cool. Um, it's just warm-ups. If you're, you know, on soccer team, you have certain warm-ups, stretches, stuff you do, exercises. This is just part of learning how to sing. Okay. Hand signals. Me, Ray Doe. Me, Ray Doe. Okay, so I do it, then you do it. So you need to do the hand motions and uh, sing and sing the notes. Mi re do, you guys. 
do re mi mi re do do re do <laughs> i messed that up let me do it again also it's a weird scene anyway okay. do re do you guys do re mi mi re mi mi re do cool all right so we um before we get like into it i feel like we should move our bodies so we are going to move our bodies to a song that i don't think you're expecting it's called the chicken dance yeah, we're doing the chicken dance here at home. Just go for it. Uh-oh, I bet we're going to get an ad. Uh. Oh, well, at least it's not a bad ad. All right, stand up. Here we go. I hope you had fun doing that silly little dance. Um, uh, I thought I had something to say about it, but I don't think I do. Uh, oh, tempo. The word tempo. T-E-M-P-O. Tempo is how fast or slow a song is going. And as you discovered in that song, tempo can change, uh, even in the same song. Um, okay, let's look at some rhythms. Um, 
I feel like, let's see, what song, what song do we want to look for this for? Um, how about, yes, this one. It's called Rain is Falling Down. And there it is. Okay, so now. This is us beginning to learn how to read real music. So watch um, where my little arrow cursor thing is pointing. And let's go through some stuff. Okay, first thing that I notice is this squiggle here, which tells me that it's treble clef. We're starting to learn the treble clef notes this year, so that's good to know. This little sharp hashtag thing is called a sharp. Don't worry about what that means now. These two numbers here are called the time signature, and this top number tells us how many beats are in every measure. Since because it's a two, that means it is now there in this song every measure, and this is a measure from this line to this line, or from this line to this line. Every measure will have two beats. One, two, one, two. Cool. Okay. So now things we need to know. Um, oh, that little MP means mezzo piano. Um, MP, mezzo piano means medium quiet. We'll get into that stuff more later. But um, dynamics is how loud. So we just talked about tempo being how fast or slow. Dynamics are how loud or quiet a song is. So all that information is packed right at the beginning. Um, so... You know what? I'm going to change to apple tree. Okay, so now, same basic stuff over here, treble clef. That shows us that the notes are going to be the ones that we're learning. There's two, four. That means there's two beats in every measure. This uh, rectangle uh, with the two above it means there's two measures of rest. So when we listen to the song, the song doesn't start for two measures. Let's, let's prove that. So it was one, two, one, two, and then they start singing. Two, one, two. Now, rhythms. These are rhythms that should be pretty straightforward for you guys. Do, day, do. Do, day, do. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Um, so I guess what I want us to do is see if you guys can find the E's. What are the E's? What do I mean by that? I mean that we've looked at the treble clef that I uh, that board that I have, and uh, the last two weeks we have looked at a note that I said was E, uh, E as an Elvis, E as an elephant. It is a line note. So in the music that you see on your screen right now, there are one, two, three, four five E's. I'm going to give you about 30 seconds to see if you can find them. And then I will point them out, of course, because uh, that's what I do. I teach. Find the E's. Got them? Cool. E is first line on the treble clef. So that note that's on the bottom line, E, tree, E, tree, no notes, so there are no E's in that measure. Fall on me, E, I won't cry, E, the cry, I won't pout, E, if you're apples, nope, no E's. So that's basically what we're going to, that's, that's, there you go. Now you're starting to learn how to read music. You can read the rhythms. Apple tree, do, day, do. Tree is E. And then if you want to know what apple is, it's G. Okay, so let me stop sharing this. And what? Remember, treble clef means that this first note here, is an E. It's a line note because there's a line going through it. This note, which will be our next one we learn, it will be a space note because there will be a line above and below it. 
Um, okay, so let us start learning a song called Down to the Baker's Shop. And I'm going to sing Down to the Baker's Shop for you. And you are going to, by which I mean your job right now, is to identify the parts of this song that are the same or different. Same and different. Okay, here we go. Down to the baker shop, hop, hop, hop. For my mother said, buy a loaf of bread. Down to the baker shop, hop, hop, hop. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna number the phrases. Down to the baker shop, hop, hop, hop. For my mother said, buy a loaf of bread. Down to the baker shop, hop, hop, hop. So, in your head, phrase number one, phrase number two, phrase number three, phrase number four, which ones are the same and which ones are different? Okay, so the, this is our last time, and then I need you to kind of go for it, figure it out, make your decision, and then, then I'll tell you the answer. Down to the baker shop, hop, 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 for my mother said, buy a loaf of bread, down to the baker shop, hop, hop, hop. Okay. First phrase, down to the baker shop, what is the same phrase that is the same as this one? Yes, the first and fourth phrase, down to the baker shop, hop, hop, hop. Okay. Uh, uh, down to the baker shop, hop, hop, hop. Okay, those are the same. Now, what about those two middle phrases? Can I do this? Okay. For my mother said, buy a loaf of bread. Okay, so obviously the words are different. So that's one way they're different. And they're different from down to the baker shop, hop, hop, hop. But there is something that is the same. Okay. For my mother said, buy a loaf of bread. They are the same melody, part that you sing, and they are the same rhythm. Da 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 da. So, one and four are the same. Or, two and three are the same. Okay, musically at least, not lyrically. So, let's put the whole thing together. Um, I want you guys to sing, hop hop hop. Which, by the way, is me, Ray Do. Down to the baker shop, hop, hop, hop. For my mother said, buy a loaf of bread. Down to the baker shop, hop, hop, hop. Okay, so now that you realize that, hop, 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 me, Ray Do. Um, now you can actually hop during that part. Down to the baker shop, hop. Hop, hop. For my mother said, buy a loaf of bread down to the baker shop. Hop, hop, hop. Okay. Let's think about this. Um, ah, where did he go? Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Our goal, I guess, is to do this. We're going to hop on a hop, and you're going to come up with some other motion, any motion. For my mother said, buy a loaf of bread. But it needs to be a motion where you're, where you're not moving your feet. Uh, so it can be, for my mother said, for my mother said, for my mother said. I don't care. And then I'm down to the baker shop, hop, hop, hop. But. If we were in class, we would come up with other things to say, like um, <clears throat> gallop, uh, march, things like that. So let's do the song a couple times, and I will change the motion. Cool? All right, let's do it. We will start with hop, though. Down to the baker shop, hop, hop, hop. For my mother said, buy a loaf of bread. Down to the baker shop. Um, 
Gallop. I don't like that. I've got a man. Down to the baker's shop. Gallop, gallop, gallop. <laughs> For my mother said, buy a loaf of bread. Down to the baker's shop. Gallop, gallop, gallop. I don't know about gallop. Uh, let's try skip. Down to the baker's shop. Skip. For my mother said, buy a loaf of bread, down to the baker's shop, skip, skip, skip. <laughs> All right, fine. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, Did, oh, you know what I wanna do? I wanna teach you guys, there's a song, and it's uh, it's a little bit of a little kid song, but the one thing I like about it is that it teaches you different ways to say hello. So it's called the Hello Song, and but this week they're teaching how to sing um, hello in Swahili. Swahili is a language that's used in uh, a bunch of African countries. Uh, I have it written down somewhere. Where did I write it down? Um, Well, you would think that it would be easy to find because I don't have that many pages here. Um, okay, Kenya, Uganda, uh, Tanzania. So it's a it's a it's a language that a lot of people speak in this world. Okay, so I'll just play it and then we'll sing it. it might take me a minute to find. But I will. What song is this? Hey, Trey. I'm gonna start over. I oh, know I don't have to start over. Jambo is how you say hello in Swahili. I will sing, sing hello around the world, round the world, round the world. I will sing hello around the world. I will sing all over the world. Jambo, 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 Jambo. Jumbo, Jumbo, I will sing hello around the world, round the world, round the world. I will sing hello around the world. I will sing all over the world. My guitar. My ukulele. See how much small this is? Okay, anyway. There we go. Let us bid each other adieu. Adieu is how you say goodbye in French. And we'll actually get to French in our uh, saying hello stuff too. So um, things we did today. We did our, uh, we stretched, we did Rapper's Delight to work on diction, and we did the Cincinnati Youth Choir's uh, vocal warm up. We practiced Mi Re Do with hand signals, and then we sang Mi Re Do in Hop Hop Hop. Uh, we clapped some rhythms from uh, uh, Rain is Falling Down. Treble clef, E. First line first line note in treble clef is E. And um, we learned down to the baker's shop and how to sing hello in Jambo. Uh, Jambo is how you sing hello in Swahili, an Africa, a language used in uh, Africa. Not all of Africa, but parts of Africa. Big, big continent. Lots of languages. So. Um, I will see you next week, I believe, on video because of the way that they're um, bringing kids back uh, into the building. And then, so next week will be a video. 
Um, and then after that, I will start seeing you guys, and um, hopefully we'll get to start playing record uh, ukulele. All right, take care of yourselves. Love you. Bye-bye.